In question number eight, I said, uh, write this equation in point slope form. So I said there are multiple correct answers. Well, there are two correct answers. So the first thing that we're going to do, let's find the slope between our two points. Notice we don't have numbers here, so we're going to get um, probably some ugly, ugly looking equation here. Remember, it goes x, y, and x, y. So I'm going to say my slope is going to be j minus g all over h minus f. Now we can write our equation in point slope form, and I think we'll use the first point. So I'm going to say y minus g. Remember, point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So we're going to say y minus g equals our slope, which is j minus g. all over h minus f times x minus my x coordinate, which is f. That's one answer. Now I could use my second point. Instead of writing g, I could have h. So I could write it as y minus j equals j minus g all over h minus f times x minus h. So you have two correct answers here. I don't care which one you use. Both of them are correct. So I said multiple correct answers, but that's not really not correct. There are two different correct answers on this one. On question number nine, you should have something about first write the formula for the perimeter, and then replace P with 100. So you got 2L plus 2W equals 100. Well, that's a linear equation in standard form. Notice that if you divide by, by 2L uh, plus 2W equals 100 by 2, I'd get L plus W equals 50. That might make it easier to do, so we just simplified that. So I just want a combination of two numbers that add to 50. I listed some of them here, but these aren't the only one. Um, and make sure when you do it, you list five different solutions on that one. Okay, number 10. Henry says the slope of a line in standard form is negative A over B, while Stephanie says the slope is C over B. Well, Henry is right on this one because the slope in standard form is negative A over B. We did that in our last assignment. 